I'm Josh from Vacuums R Us in Arvada, Colorado, and I'm here to talk to you about the myth that vacuum cleaner bags contain fiberglass. Spoiler alert, they do not. First, I'm going to talk about how this myth came to be, and then I'm going to provide you with a bunch of documentation from different vacuum cleaner bag manufacturers and HEPA material manufacturers talking about how the material is made. So in 2013, as part of a broad study on disaster preparedness, Cambridge University did a study on possible homemade masks as opposed to surgical masks and the effectiveness of homemade masks in comparison with uh, mass-produced surgical masks. What they found was that homemade masks were not as good as surgical masks, but that they were certainly better than nothing. That's in keeping with CDC guidelines we've seen up until now and the most recent CDC update uh, made by the Surgeon General a few days ago. I'm going to link that Cambridge study below as well as the CDC presentation on homemade masks. So in the Cambridge study, to quote, a range of common household materials were tested together with the material from a surgical mask. The list includes scarves, cotton t-shirt material, and notably vacuum cleaner bags. And what they found was that vacuum cleaner bags were approximately four points less effective than surgical masks in filtration. As opposed to, notably, cotton, uh, cotton t-shirts, I believe, which were around 40 points less effective than surgical masks. This data started circulating the internet a couple weeks ago, it became very relevant, and it created a massive spike in demand for HEPA vacuum cleaner bags. Thousands of volunteers mobilized to make improvised personal protective equipment with these bags. Vacuum stores that many of which had previously been closed opened just to give away vacuum bags to that purpose. Uh, Trevor from AB Vacuum in Minnesota has already delivered 2,500 uh, masks made of vacuum cleaner bag material. Uh, six to 800 are being made per day right now. They have donated supplies for another 17,000 masks to volunteers. This is difficult to track and quantify because vacuum stores are independently operated. And most of these shops that are doing this aren't going out and tooting their horn. Laura Lai uh, at the Fix-It Shop in Carbondale, PA has donated uh, enough material to make over 100 masks to the local nursing home. Evan Joseph in Indiana has donated a case at least of EnviroCare HEPA bags to volunteers. Joe from the Electric Hospital has given away, let's see, 50 free to get ready for delivery today. This has been an ongoing effort for them. So that's when something weird happened. We and other vacuum stores started getting phone calls and emails and chats through our website asking if our vacuum bags contained fiberglass. That seemed really strange to us because the whole point of HEPA filtration vacuum bags is to prevent damaging particles, dust, debris, and bacteria from going back into the air. In this industry, we've been recommending these high filtration HEPA bag vacuums for years, decades, to people who have any type of lung or allergy issues. After some research, we found that a few videos had gone viral from individuals outside of our industry stating that vacuum bags contain fiberglass. Now, I hypothesize there may have been some confusion there with those individuals, perhaps thinking that the vacuum bags were possibly made out of the same material as car filters or some types of furnace or HVAC filters may contain fiberglass. However, vacuum bags do not and have not ever contained any fiberglass. So we're going to link back to a couple of videos below that show vacuum bag testing using a heating methodology to show that vacuum bags do not contain fiberglass. Joe Neal of Electric Hospital has a great video there that also includes some filtration testing. And then Trevor of AB Vacuum Center also provided some testing. We're currently compiling documentation from the major vacuum cleaner bag manufacturers showing that fiberglass is not used as a material in the construction of vacuum cleaner bags. Notably, EnviroCare has released a lengthy Frequently Asked Questions section related to this issue on their Facebook page. You'll find that link below. As we get additional information, we're going to update it on this page below. DVC has been in contact with us. They're also another very large manufacturer of vacuum bags, and they have stated that there is no fiberglass in any of their filters or bags. Melt-blown polypropylene is the process used to manufacture the fabric used in HEPA bags. This is the same process that's used to manufacture the material used for surgical masks. I'm going to have some links below that detail the manufacturing process as well as the MSDS sheets, which are the manufacturer's safety data sheets for melt-blown polypropylene. 
We have a few other MSDSs below. One of them is for Bissell Febreze bags. Now I'd like to note that Febreze scent is inserted into this material and it's not recommended that you use this material for masks. But it is a HEPA material and it is made out of milk blown polypropylene and if you read the MSDS you'll see that that is a safe material. You'll also find a link to Monagnac Nonwovens. This is another company that uses milk blown polypropylene material. They're a manufacturer and that details some of the manufacturing process if you're interested. We're also including two different patents from two different vacuum cleaner companies that manufacture HEPA material vacuum bags that details that process. Post your questions below. We'll answer them as quickly as we can. This has been a collaborative effort. I really want to reach out and say thank you to all the other vacuum stores that have weighed in on this, provided us with documentation. This is a challenge. There's only a few of us working on this project. We're all working very hard in our different businesses to serve our customers right now. And it is further challenging because in the U.S. under quarantine, most of the representatives that we work with from these vacuum cleaner bag companies are now working from home. And they can't just walk into the filing cabinet in the next room and pull out the MSDSs that we're asking them for right now. So we appreciate your patience as we continue to refute these rumors. And uh, thanks for watching.